it's definitely admirable the way that she's behaved. You know, she's uh, refused to have a closed trial. She decided to have everything made public. Her name, her face, she's speaking out. She's decided to make this um, uh, to make this an emblematic trial. It's also thanks to everything that she did and her bravery. You know, victims don't have to do what she did. They have a right to have their anonymity protected. It's not necessarily a duty. Uh, of any victim, but what she decided to do is very, very important because now we cannot ignore the violence that can some men can resort to. I can imagine it can be very difficult because she's in the public eye. The entire world is looking at her, and you know she's chosen to be um, a sort of figure of this fight, uh, and it cannot be easy. But I think that's probably, it's also something probably she needed to do and she wanted to do. And I hope that she's um, feeling some satisfaction with that, that she knows that she's supported by everyone. We're here to support her. We're showing her that we believe her, that we are so um, admirative of her courage. Um, and now I hope that all of that is helping her with that decision and helping her, you know, um, carry this fight forward. <laughs> I mean, it's like we always say, you can never, you can never know who's who's a rapist or who's a, who's a monster. Like it could be your neighbor, it could be anyone. So like, it's really, it's really disgusting somehow to think that it could be people that you know people that you that you hang out with every every day and like they could do things like that she's she's an icon somehow because in her pain she decided not to give up and not to just lie down and just accept that yeah i've been i've been raped by multiple people and uh it's something that i can never get up from she decided to fight and we're all here today because she's fighting and she's inspiring us to fight too to fight along her so like it's important to have her as an icon <laughs> <laughs>